What is up? What is up, my trucking fan bam? It's your boy Trucker Dev here with another video, another helpful video. I know that people love to see these videos. It's very helpful, and that's why I love doing these videos because I love helping people. Now let's get right to it. So, in the past, a couple years ago, I did a video on how to operate a vacuum tanker. Like I said, your boy is back to hauling vacuum tanker. Now, today, in this video, stay tuned all the way to the end because I'm about to be showing you specifically step by step on how to operate the vacuum tanker in action y'all because i'm here at a pond right now got to load up fresh water to take to location but while i'm doing this i want to show y'all the steps the steps that it takes to load up how to operate the vacuum your hoses and stuff in that nature the valves you know i'm gonna show y'all how to operate this is the new and improved video y'all stay tuned much love, y'all. Let's get right into it. What you're going to want to do is put your, put your uh, foot on the clutch, step down on the clutch, and put it in the gear, right? You're going to step on the clutch, have it in gear. Make sure your truck is in park and your truck and trailer is in park. Now, have your foot on the clutch and uh, it's in gear. You want to flip this switch right here. This is going to be a PTO switch, right? Move this out the way. See your PTO switch right here. So flip that. Make sure that is engaged. PTO engaged. We're gonna take it out of gear. Make sure it's in neutral and let off of the uh, let off of the clutch very slow. Right. Boom. We got the PTO on. Uh, the pump running. Now let's go out there and check it out. Now that we got the pump running, I'm gonna show y'all the pump. Now that we got the pump running, y'all. Oh. Uh, right. Now that the pump is running, as you can tell, my pump is hydraulically driven. So therefore, these hoses right here all the way down to the bottom of my transmission uh, underneath the truck and it's ran off of a PTO that is powered right when you when you engage it by the air it's air powered and it's hydraulically uh, driven with fluid right so it goes through this line and it circulates through the pump right it circulates it goes back right to circulate it's a circulating system so I just wanted to explain that because out there that are driven by uh, some of the hydraulic pumps and stuff like that with this setup it's driven by belt driven or it's driven uh, with a uh, shaft right a shaft driven but my specifically is because I lease my trailer from the company I have my wet kit on the truck itself so I run the hoses just to the pump on the trailer so I'm able just to run and use their pump that's on the trailer already operate now I want to talk about this lever right here this lever specifically is for pressure and vacuum right now we have it on vacuum side and if we were to change the lever to the other side let's do that you hear the difference now it's building up pressure in the system but we don't want that we want it on vacuum so Another, a way to indicate that it's vacuum, you can hear it real loud. So that means that air is coming out and it's building a suction in the tank, right? When you have it on pressure, that gets quiet, right? Your, your canister on the bottom of the trailer gets quiet because it's building up pressure in the tank, right? So let's put it back on vacuum. And we have this reservoir right here, which is the oil. You want to make sure that oil is filled up. And you got your overflow tank up there. You always want to make sure that that tank right there is empty because if it's not empty, your system won't work properly. Also, with your tank down here, that's also a tank. You want to make sure that that tank is empty because it won't work properly. Now, now that we got all that set, we're going to go back here. We're going to actually hook up, y'all. We're gonna hook up, so I'm gonna explain to y'all. When you go to these ponds, you got a hose that goes out into these ponds. Man, I can't look, there's fish in there, check it out. So, there's fish in there because it is a pond. There's birds, they drop fish, whatever the case may be, and they just end up making a living, right? But, they got hoses that are ran here, four inch hose there. There's a three inch, I don't know why that's a three inch, but, so you don't have to run none of your hoses off of your trailer um, to it to hook it up. Some places you might have to at other ponds, they might not have hoses available. They just have a manifold where it has a 
the hookup, so you have to put your fittings and stuff like that. Uh, but here, they have hoses, they supply hoses. I'm gonna show y'all how to hook up, and I'm gonna explain to y'all the backside of the trailer so we can load. Like, remember I explained to y'all we have it on vacuum? Now, I'm gonna show y'all the pressure, the, the, the vent line, and I'm gonna show y'all the three inch and the four inch line so we can load up and the level and stuff in that nature. So let's get to so it. Here, right here is gonna be a main part that plays the main part in your, in your loading and unloading. Right here, we have a pressure gauge. It should be on zero, but it's kind of a little off. You know, you're gonna have that, especially with old trailers. This is what you call a vent line. So every trailer is gonna have a vent line. When it is open, you wanna always make sure that it's open so that if there is a vacuum on the truck, on the trailer, or there is pressure on the trailer, you're able to release it. And this is gonna be re your relief, your, your vent line to release that pressure or to release that suction. There's a valve here. Right when I close that valve, this gauge is gonna start moving into the positive, uh, I mean, into the negative uh, side because it's gonna be building a suction, right? So we're gonna be seeing this, this, this vacuum. I don't know if you're able to see that, but this is gonna be dropping and you wanna not have it on 30 or you wanna not have it like past 20. Sometimes it does, being that this valve is kind of broken, um, it's gonna do that. Or not, not, not valve is broken, but this gauge is a little off, you know what I mean? But I've been doing this so long to be able to tell um you know sorry about that guys i had it off but i've been doing this long enough to know you know where to keep it at right but for those y'all that are just getting into it and want to understand how it works i have to tap it sometimes you might want to tap it when it doesn't work properly so it's building up suction to 20 right so i had the pump on suction like i showed y'all and i closing this valve so now we are building suction inside the tank itself right so being that we are building suction inside the tank and we're building this gauge right here is dropping now as y'all can see that on the negative side it's dropping on the negative side so you're able to see that it's building up uh, a suction right so as we tap it right it's building up suction you see that um it's on 20 now it's past 20. so we're good on, on suction so i'm going to show y'all and that's because we have this valve closed if we have this valve open you can hear the suction it's releasing that suction. But another way you can tell that it's on suction is you wanna make sure as well before, see, I shouldn't have done that, but you wanna make sure that these valves here, sometimes these air valves, these are air valves to, uh, to pressure up. They're coming off of the airbag. So these air valves here, you open this up and if your, if your line would be clogged up or um, you're loaded with mud or whatever the case may be like here you have a check valve so you really don't have that problem but i'm going to show y'all what to do here in a little bit with that but when you're blowing that pressure uh back through a line and stuff that's when you want to use uh this air valve right here um but for the sometimes these valves leak is what i'm trying to say so before you even open these caps y'all you want to make sure you go into the on here the bleeder this is a bleeder you want to release that you heard there was a little bit of stuff there's probably suction though but you want to release the pressure if there's any so now we take off the cap and y'all see that, that that gauge it's dropping very very low but because it's building a good suction i'm going to show y'all it's on suction y'all so don't don't try this on a location because you know you never know especially if this is your first time doing this but um, this is also my sight glass here. So we're gonna be able to uh, check the sight glass, you know, to see um, where the level of the water's at. I'm gonna show y'all that too. But here we have a four inch line here. So I'm gonna show y'all how to hook up this four inch line uh, to here because we have a four inch valve here and then we have a three inch valve here. We're not gonna use a three inch. So I'm gonna put the cap back on that. And we're gonna use of course we want to release that pressure and that relief that that relief valve in the bottom and we're going to take off this cap this four inch cap as you can tell it's bigger this one's smaller that's three inch this is four inch most trailers are set up like that if not you have to just put a reducer to put your four inch it's building suction so we want to make sure that we just release that suction now we got it off right, right guys so i gotta get my uh my what we're gonna do we're gonna hook it up so it has these ears on it these ears on it there's ears 
and we're gonna hook this up now. So you wanna put these cam lock, it's called cam lock. So we're gonna put these here, close them. All right, I don't know if y'all can see that. We're gonna close those cam lock ears. Now we are officially hooked up with our four inch. There's suction in the tank. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna open it up. We have that open, it's not just yet loading. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna open up um, this valve here. This valve is basically going, of course, this is how we get our water in. So we're gonna open up this. Now we should be loading. I don't know if y'all seen that, um, that moving right there. The, the four inch holes, it moves. So that means that it's getting fluid going in. So we are loading. This is a process of loading. So right now that we are loading up and I showed y'all that process of hooking up and stuff, that's, that's basically it. That's as simple as, as it gets. When you go to a location, you just have a hose that's not connected to anything. You basically have a hose just inside of a tank and they're just, you're sucking stuff out of a tank or you are connected into a tank to where you're pulling fluid or you're pulling mud or water out of the tank. It's gonna be the same, same, same exact steps that I just showed y'all on on loading, right? This is the loading process. So it's very simple. My valve, my vent line is still closed. I'm gonna yeah, show y'all. Vent line's still closed. We're all the way on 30, but I mean, we got good, we got good, um, right there, as y'all can tell, we got good suction, y'all. We got good suction there. Um, we have the valve open here. We're loading up here. This is closed, right? We wanna keep this closed. We don't wanna have that open at all. Right now is not the right time to use that because you're gonna blow the line with that, especially especially having a check valve right there. That check valve is so nothing can go past back in. Uh, so this valve, you can open it. You can hear the suction and stuff like that. I was like explaining before it got hot, you know, about opening this valve, the suction. Uh, you can feel that there's suction there. Um, also, I wanna show y'all something. So here on the side glass, we have a valve on the bottom and then we have a valve on the top. To, for the side glass. So I'm gonna show y'all how to clean out this side glass right now. As y'all can tell, the discoloration in it, I'm gonna show y'all how to clean it out right now. So what we're gonna do, guys, to clean it out, we're gonna close the bottom valve, the valve that I was just showing y'all. I'm gonna close that valve. And lift the bottom valve so that it still sucks all the way through, right? So it, it is still getting suction from that top valve. What we're gonna do is use a jug of diesel. We got red diesel, you can get this on location. Whatever location you're at, um, as far as drilling rigs, uh, they'll have them there. Uh, they'll have the red diesel. I mean, ask the uh, mud engineer, or ask somebody. Don't just go and steal their stuff. But get that red diesel, or regular diesel. What you're gonna do is pour it in your, in, your inlet here. And you can see it's clearing up. It's clearing up, right? So that's as clear as we're probably gonna get it. I gotta keep checking my uh, my screen because my phone just overheated. And so, as y'all could tell, it kind of, it cleared up a bit. So now, and there's the end that I was talking about, the valve there. So I open up this valve here. There's no pressure. Do not open that if there's pressure in the tank. It's another thing. Now we'll be able to see the level of the water. Y'all see that level, that water just come up right there? So, boom. There's the level. That's why it's called a side glass, because you're able to tell how much is in there. What I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna put it back up. So you wanna make sure that if you have some of that red diesel, it's very important, or even regular diesel, uh, just so you can have, uh, be able to clean your, clean your sight glass uh, and always keep that clean. It's very important so you're able to see your levels in there, especially if you don't have a weight gauge. I don't have a weight gauge, so I utilize that sight glass all the time, you know? So I'm gonna load up right now that's basically all you need to know as far as loading up. I hope that you understand that part. And I'm gonna show y'all how to unhook the hose in a little bit and um, show y'all what a full load looks like. I wanna explain another thing on, on these bubbles. There's bubbles in my sight glass right now. It's bubbling. These I'm gonna bubbles show right here, you see how it's bubbling up? It shouldn't be doing that. This is already closed, right? It's already closed, there's no leak. It's just bubbling because within somewhere within here, there's it's, uh, it's probably leaking. And I need to basically fix that here very soon. And I believe it's around here. I've seen it not too long ago uh, when I was hauling RBO, but that's because it's getting air in there. For the most part, I, I utilize this 
the sight glass and then I'll show y'all how to clear it out. I'll clear it so I close it so that there's nothing in there so nothing's leaking out. But as y'all could tell, it's bubbling up. Our level's way up here already. As you can see the level right there, it's already high all the way down here. So, like I said, we're loading up, got the valve open and it's coming out of the pond. We're sucking out of the pond. That's what it looks like over there. And there's different uh, loads up, load up. They're all pulling out from the same pond. But like there's those over there, those manifolds. And then there's these manifolds over here. And this is somebody's property, right? And after we're done loading that building right there, we're gonna be going in there. We're gonna have to fill out a ticket. Uh, so basically they're able to charge the, here they charge the company or the customer for us picking up the water. And then of course we do what we need to do, right? Whatever, but we have to make sure we fill out a ticket in there so that they, um, they know that we came and picked up a load of water. So we're gonna be picking up a couple of loads of water out of here today to go fill up a frack tank. And we're picking up um, 130 barrels of water. So therefore we'll probably need like four loads to fill up one frack tank. That's usually what it takes to fill up a frack tank, about four loads, four and a quarter maybe. But for the most part, about four loads. Some fishies, see them? Some bass, those are largemouth bass right there. Largemouth bass right there, man. That's pretty cool. I should bring my fishing pole, right? Check it out, all these large mouth bass over here. Check them out. It's pretty dope, y'all, pretty dope. So I'm gonna finish loading up and uh, I'm gonna show y'all in a little bit how to unhook. So we're already almost uh, all the way loaded, almost. We're up here and um, so I usually like to go as far as like underneath that light. That'd be like yeah, 125 barrels, maybe 130 barrels right there. Um, that's where I'm gonna load up to. I don't like to overdo it. Because when you do overload it, then you'll start scrubbing out and scrubbing out. You'll get some of that water in those overflow tanks that I was telling you about. And then you're gonna have to drain them and you're gonna have problems like pressuring up again or, or a building suction again. And you don't wanna like scrub it all the way out, but you wanna get it high enough. You know what I mean? Especially um, if you're hauling like other products. This is just fresh water I'm loading. So this is fresh water. You can load up 130 barrels, but when you're loading like salt water, like brine water, and stuff like that, you're not gonna be able to pull 130 barrels. You're gonna have to pull a little bit uh, less because that water is weighted, you know, with salt and it's a little bit heavier than just fresh water. You know what I mean? So we're almost loaded, y'all. I'm gonna show you how to unhook. Ready at the top, I'm gonna show y'all right now how to unhook. We're already loaded up there, y'all. The whole side glass, you can see it, you can see it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna close this valve right here. And the bottom one, we're gonna clear that line. Now, there's nothing in there to leak out. Nobody knows anything. All right, nobody knows that there's a load in this trailer. <laughs> you know what I mean? So we're gonna do that. Now we're gonna we're gonna close the valve here on the bottom. There's a valve here. I have my camera set up there. So we're gonna close that valve first on the bottom, on the line, uh, which is this one. Let me show y'all. This uh, valve, close it. What we're gonna do is we're gonna open up this bleeder line. Y'all hear it? Suction. What it's doing is uh clearing it's clearing the line you see how it jumps y'all see that look check it out see how it's moving this line right here now it's very light so there's no water in there we're gonna close this valve right here on the four inch we're gonna close that valve and now we're gonna open this bleeder and now it's released all the suction in there and we're gonna release our vacuum on the red line, you don't want to keep on building back, especially if your valves are already closed, you don't want to keep on building suction because you don't want to collapse them. You don't want the tank to collapse and you just don't need no further issues. You're, you're overworking your pump. That fluid is constantly just running and, and getting hotter and hotter because that suction is getting, you know what I mean? So you want to just um, release the vacuum out of, out, of the, out of the line once you got everything closed up. Now we're going to just Bleed it there. See how water came out? We're gonna take out, take out this four inch line. Just put it right here. Well, not on the ground, but that's how you unhook, y'all. See it? It's leaking and stuff like that. You know, we could open it. Well, we can't because the suction's already off. If I open that valve right now with the suction already down, what's gonna happen is, I'll show y'all right now. 
we're at a water at right, a water load up, so I'll show y'all a little bit. So we have this uh, this this uh, basically open right now, so all the vacuums out of it. So that means there's no suction. So what's gonna happen is that's gonna happen. You don't want that to happen on location. You want to make sure that this is closed. When you close that valve, that's just an example. You don't do that, y'all. Don't do that. You know, I'm only doing it because we're out here. It's hot as hell. It's gonna dry up. But we're at a pond, so they're not gonna penalize me. You do that on location, that's a big no. They could kick you off the location for that. That is a reason to kick you off, and they don't want your company there, they don't want you there. Something to be mindful of. Now that we're building up suction, I got the valve closed. This is kind of an example showing y'all. We got the valve closed. So this is what happens when you have the valve closed. Now that you built the suction, boom. A lot of suction, sucking it all up. Now we just close our, uh, put our cap on. Now we're gonna open the valve again. Say what's up to people that drive by. Hey, que onda, vato? You didn't hear me, but anyway. Open that up, release that vacuum again. That's it, we're loaded. Got the valves closed. Now we're gonna go inside and do our ticket. I'm gonna take y'all in there with me. Let's go do the ticket. I wanna show y'all, so the hose, when I took it off here, there's no cap. We just put it there. They sometimes have hooks, you can hook it. Um, here, the vent line, we just close that back. So when the next person comes and loads, they don't have that open or whatever. And this valve, the main valve is closed. But that check valve, you cannot blow nothing back to contaminate their fresh water. That's probably why they have that. So you don't contaminate their fresh water, but it's able to come out this way. So therefore, that's why this valve is here. And that's why I say this valve here, you don't want to um, open that because that's gonna put air and pressure. Um, it's, it's on both sides usually and um it's gonna put pressure and you don't want to do that right now it's not the proper time what's up y'all so now what we're gonna do we're in the truck we're gonna turn the pto off because i'm uh, hot so i always carry a rag because it's freaking hot sweating so now you're probably wondering how do you turn off the pto when you're done loading how do you turn off the pto so now you just come in your truck you step on you can you, you press on the clutch you don't have to mess with the gear or nothing hold the clutch down now you hold the clutch down and you flip this opposite way on there it's in on there it's out so now it's out and it's off it's, in, uh, it's not engaged you just let off the clutch boom we tell i'm gonna go inside and do this ticket i got to drive by you know it's the main road right here so we're gonna go inside do a ticket and uh, fill that out oh dude look at that big old spider yo holy moly look at that Holy cow, there's that one. Holy cow, what the, holy cow, what the hell is this? Look, there's another one. Holy cow, there's another one. Hell no, let's get inside this guy now. Hey guys, if you got this far in the video, make sure that you stay tuned, keep watching to the end because after this part right here, we're actually gonna go to the next location, show up there, I'm gonna show y'all the offloading process. So I'm gonna be pressuring up the tank, hooking up the hose and showing y'all that process. Make sure that y'all stay tuned. Make sure if you like this video and you just enjoy the content that you subscribe, you like. If I left something out, make sure that y'all comment. Much love guys, let's get it. Got an offloading process. I got here, it's an unmanned location right now. We're just loading up tanks. Of course, we still gotta be careful, but I'm gonna show y'all how to offload. These are the frame tanks. tanks right We're now. not offloading in there. That one's going brown water. Now it's going to go fresh water. So I'm, I'm loading that fresh water up, uh, that one over there. The fresh water right here. We it. still got to uh, make sure we have our FR clothes on and hard hat and stuff like that. Just in case a company man or somebody does pull up on site, um, they don't catch you slipping. And, you know, you got all your proper PPE and stuff like that on. You know, that's one thing. Don't get caught We're going to load up here. going to undo this. And load from the top the candy cane that's what they call it it's going to go over the top load we're going to back up now well back this thing up so we can offload it there we're lined up now Kind of go out an angle.
Grande. I'm going to show you all the steps, uh, what it takes to offload, what we're going to do. Remember, like I explained, this vent line right here is going to be open because now we're going to put it on pressure. So we're going to go switch our pump. It's going to be the same thing. But now we're gonna switch our pump to pressure. We're gonna keep this open so it doesn't build up pressure just yet. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Remember, switch it that way. Boom, now we're on pressure. So now we're gonna build pressure up in the tank. We're gonna go ahead and leave this open so it doesn't build up a lot of pressure so that whenever we take off our, our caps here, there's not a lot of pressure built up. Uh, while we get rigged up and stuff like that. But we got to get the fitting on the tank here. Um, we don't want to have it building up pressure while we're trying to get this set up. So I'm going to show you all how to do this. Let's get it set up. Now we just leave it on pressure. We got to get our pipe wrench. I don't know if this pipe wrench is big enough. It's not big enough. But it'll work. We got it on the notch, right? Now, spin this off, put that to the side. We're going to get our fitting. Now that we got our fitting that we're going to put on there, it's, uh, it's going to be the screw um, female. This is what you call a female. Let me explain to y'all real quick. This is what you call a female because you're going to insert, right? <laughs> Sounds funny, but we want to make sure that we have a gasket inside. There's a groove that's inside here. You want to make sure that you have that gasket in there and now it looks like that and it's going to be the screw on and then we're going to have to put an adapter um no actually no we're not going to have to reduce it we're just going to put this straight on i thought we were going to have to do that because don't know why but now we're going to screw this on here usually you don't have to tighten this like crazy just want to tighten it like hand tight to where you know you're gonna have to, you're gonna be able to use your muscles to get it off. That's tight enough. So, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna hook up the hose, but we want to make sure, like I was saying before, we're gonna go three inch. So we want to make sure that there's no pressure built up. And then we're gonna we're gonna do the valve on the bottom, make sure no pressure. Relieve that pressure and remove the cap. We got water coming out and it's fine. Nobody's here, so we're okay right now. Oh shit, I almost knocked myself out. What we're gonna do? We get my hose, my three-inch hose, right? We're gonna get a three-inch hose, a long one. I parked pretty far from it. So we're gonna put on the female side. Uh, same with the cam lock, this is a female side, make sure your gasket's in there. I'm gonna put this on the truck, on the mail. Boom, 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 boom. Make sure that's tight. And then, we're gonna get the mail side. We're gonna put it in the candy cane. Put our cam locks. Tighten up on the cam lock. Now, Y'all see we have it connected there. These are the cam locks I'm telling you about. So there's an there's a O-ring in there. It's on the mail here. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna build pressure. So how, remember earlier, we had this going down the negative side. Now, we're gonna close it and it's gonna build to the positive side. I'm gonna show y'all that right now. It's a little hot out here. So now you see this building up pressure fast. You see that? We're gonna do, we're gonna open this up here, this valve. Slow, wanna do it slow, guys. You hear it? I don't know if y'all can hear that, but now we're all floating. You can hear it. It's a little drip right there. But loading fresh water, not gonna be a big deal um but now we're off loading and we're good so i'm gonna show y'all here in a little bit how we uh how we let down off the pressure as well when we're done off loading 
And um, we want to make sure too, want to show y'all this, uh, how we closed. Remember over there, I showed y'all. We um, we closed the valve here and up on top. Uh, we did that because right now, being that we're blowing off pressure, I've seen it before and it has happened that very fragile and it can blow, it, it, can, it, it can blow off. And you don't want that. So you, while it's building pressure, you want to just keep those, the bottom valve and the top valve closed. But yeah, like I said, see, we have it here. It's building up pressure. Uh, mine usually stays about 10. We don't want it to go more. We do not want the pressure. Sorry guys. We don't want the pressure to go past that because then we have a problem. And yeah, so we're building up pressure. It's closed. The tank's building up, like I said again. Boom, we're offloading. And then we're gonna go here. Explain to y'all again that remember, this lever, it's on pressure. It's on pressure, it's very important. So while well, I'm offloading y'all, they kind of shut off the oil again because of the, it's hot outside and it's making the iPhone hot and recording my fault. So um I'm gonna show y'all a little bit when it's offloaded, when it's fully unloaded, and what the hose does when it's unloaded and, and how to unhook everything so you don't have no kind of spill, uh, you don't have a um, you know, nothing blow up and stuff like that because it, it can be dangerous if you're not watching what you're doing. It can be very dangerous, especially with all that pressure that built up. Um, it can hurt you. So uh, this is just a day in the life, y'all, uh, of how to, you know, unload a trailer. I didn't think I was gonna be able to show y'all, but so like I said, man, if y'all like this video, like it. You know, while you're right here and you're waiting, make sure y'all like this video until uh, we get to uh, unhooking and stuff like that. But like as y'all seen from the beginning, it's kind of the same process, you know, it's kind of the same process when you're uh, loading up, but it's just you got pressure. Now you're dealing with pressure and you're dealing with something that's more uh, uh, a safety issue. If you're not careful, it can, it can hurt you. So uh, we're going to get off loaded. Another thing you want to do is walk around the tank. I'm going to go ahead and go do that right now. Make sure that there's no leaks coming from the bottom, which I already did uh, a while ago. And you want to make sure there's no leaks. If there is, you want to call it in so that they can come and get it fixed. Uh, so that you're not, you know, you're not liable for it. They don't blame you for it. And yeah, you want to just make sure that you do that. So, um, check okay, guys are like these. Uh, I'm going to show y'all real quick. The tank, there's a valve right there. You want to make sure you always check that, make sure it's closed and it's not leaking. So we don't have no visible leaks there. So we're good on that. I think you want to look for uh, when offloading a tank because they drop these tanks off and sometimes they don't inspect them when they drop them off and they have leaks. Next time, said, guys, to watch this pressure gauge. Pressure gauge is still staying there. Um, usually, you know, you want to make sure that you just check and make sure it's not going over, stuff like that. Whenever it does start releasing pressure inside the tank, you'll start seeing that drop. I'm going to try to show you that here shortly when we're done uh, getting empty. Or well, when we start getting empty, you'll start seeing that pressure drop. You're smoking me out. Golly, bro. Thank you. God. Now y'all not seeing it shake, right? Uh, the, the hole, but it's a little bit, you'll start seeing it shake once we come empty and we're about to be empty. I just heard it. Uh, the pressure inside, it's gonna start shaking. So it's gonna start shaking because we're already getting empty. I wanna catch that uh, that line. I wanna show y'all here shortly. It's gonna start shaking. That's how you'll know you're fully unloaded. Now you don't wanna do this process. Uh, let it be blowing out pressure. Uh, you know, when you have that tank, very full because then you're gonna start having to splash out it's gonna spill out and all that and then plus you don't want it to come undone with your cam locks that's why you, that's why you want to make sure that you keep an eye on it but with putting one load in there right now uh putting one load it's not gonna hurt because it's still empty it's still low so i'm able to blow off in the tank so now it's gonna start sinking here just watching it Start bouncing. See how it's bouncing? See how it's shaking over there? Let me show you. See that? Like a snake. Oh, done. So, being that it's doing that, go oh, here the pressure. And you can start seeing this pressure is going to start dropping. <coughs> You don't want to do this when you're already almost at the top of the tank full because you're going to have to start, you're going to have a spill. But right now, being that it's our very first load in this tank, it's empty. We're able to do this. 
Uh, so it's bleeding off pressure as it's blowing out right now into the tank. Um, so we're going down here. Like I said, you gotta tap this, this gauge because um, this gauge is very old, but uh, it works. So it's starting to you know, go down. So now what we're gonna go ahead and do is just, uh, we're gonna go ahead and let it go down a little more. Now what we can do, being that we have that, it's down, we can let off the pressure open this. Tell you about this valve here on the, on the side that applies the pressure. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna apply that, apply that pressure just so we clear that line. We wanna make sure that this whole line is cleared out. And we're gonna close it now, and it should be cleared out. Now what we're gonna do is open up the bottom. A little bit of water coming out, but it's good. Now we're gonna There's no pressure on the line no more. I'm gonna go over here. Now, now there's no pressure on the line. Now we can just put this back to vacuum. Very slow. I don't recommend you doing this with the PTO on unless you know what you're doing, but when you already have the pressure off, switch it. Boom. Now you're back on vacuum. So you're all set. You're all set when you go to go load up. So y'all, that was that. And I hope that you know, this video helped you. You know, I explained everything from loading to unloading, uh, vacuum to pressure. That's basically it. Right now we're just dealing with fresh water, but it's the same procedure as running the pump, opening your valves and hoses, using the hoses and stuff like that. Same procedure with unloading and loading anything else, um, whether it's oil-based mud, water-based mud, uh, brine water, uh, uh, RBO, which is refined diesel, recycled diesel, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, whether you're sucking out of a frack tank, you know, you have the hose just in there. The vacuum and the uh, pressure part, it's that simple. It's how it works. There's no, there's no other way. That's it. You know what I mean? But as I can tell, it gets hot out here. Uh, I'm trying to a rag. You know what I mean? But it gets hot out here, y'all. Make sure y'all have y'all's water on deck. And like I said, y'all, you know, if you like this video and it's helpful, make sure that you thumb up, get thumb up. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, y'all. Make sure that you comment down below. Make sure that you subscribe for more helpful content because this is a 
upgraded version to the one that I did in the past. That one was just an, a, a, me explaining it. This is me actually showing y'all and, 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 and doing the job. You know, y'all seeing me sweat out here and this is what it consists of, y'all. It's But it's that simple, it's that easy. The steps that I've given y'all, um, you know, are gonna be able to, you know, help you on your journey. <laughs> you know, if you watched all the way to the end, guys, much love. Thank y'all for rocking with y'all, boy. Stay tuned for the podcast as well. I'm gonna be doing a, a put on game trucking podcast. We're gonna be having different people on explaining their experiences and stuff with trucking. But until next time, y'all, I gotta go get another load. I'm out.